Good afternoon, everybody. We are off on another camping trip. And if you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Christy. I'm Corey. And our little dog Zoe's in the back seat. I don't think you can see her from here, but she's back there. And we are heading off on a new adventure for us. You gonna tell them? Going boondocking. Ellie, the first time ever yeah. that we boondocked. No electricity. <laughs> um, I think we're as prepared as we can be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm uh, sure we forgot something. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be able to get by though. I think so. Yeah. Um, so this campground we're heading to is Malabar Farm State Park. And I believe it's located in Lucas, Ohio. I'll find out for sure once we get there, but I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, the town that's here. But anyways, we've been there a few times and loved it. Yeah, um, super nice place. Yeah, the park, the whole park is really nice and pretty. Um, it seems to be a quiet area, so we're excited. Um, but, like I said, the campground itself, no electricity. <laughs> you got a lot of horse camping that goes on there. Yeah, the campground that, that we're staying in is actually an equestrian horse camp, but it's open to anybody who wants to camp there. So it's not just for horses, but it is set up, you know, with tie outs, places to tie your horses up. So, uh, I think but it, it'll be fun. I think so too. We're going to have some good weather, so that's, yes. that's a plus. I know. For sure. We got to get there, so we'll check in later. Bye. Well, we made it in last night, got all set up. Enjoyed a nice quiet evening here at the uh, campsite and around the fire. Had a good time. It, yeah, it was nice. It was very peaceful. Yeah. This campground has been so quiet. Um, actually, it's been so quiet we really haven't gotten up and done much today. <laughs> no, I think it's after like noon, I think, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we made breakfast, if that counts for anything. <laughs> but um, no, so far we have really enjoyed ourselves. Um, the campground itself has only 15 sites, and they are all non-electric. And as we said earlier, it's an equestrian campground, but there's not a single horse camper here. There's only two other sites taken, and let me show you what they look like. There's two other sites down there that are taken, and like I said, n none of them have horses. Now but looks, there's a horse. Yeah, it looks like we've got a horse rider coming through the campground. Pretty cool. So there's a horse trail that leads right up from behind our site. That's where that horse was heading to. And uh, let me get up and show you what the campsite looks like. All right, so we are on site number nine. And there's that trail I was talking about. And this is what our site looks like. It's got a nice deep pad got a nice little hill on it which is okay we're dealing <laughs> and then the rest of the campground is down that way there's a dumpster real handy and then this restroom here is a latrine restroom it is like a composting restroom and it's very clean I was in it last night it was very clean And the state has done a good job cleaning it. Um, they've been in and out of there numerous times since we've been here. So if you come, just know that the uh, that the latrine here is uh, is clean, and and I would use it. We also noticed something goofy last night, or a little weird. <laughs> um, out behind our site, in the woods, there is. A little cross and we're not sure if it's someone's pet but it's right down here in the woods I don't know if you can see that that is a little odd <laughs> all right so now we're going to uh, get out and uh, explore the park see what all there is to see and share it with you guys and we will show you the campground as we head out into the park.
We're heading into the Welcome Center and I just wanted to tell you a little bit of history about the park itself here. It used to be owned by Lewis Bromfield. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning author. And the home here, his home, is actually where uh, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall got married years ago. So just a little bit of history. I have a cool gift shop here, so I'm gonna go see what I can buy. Oh, no ice cream. Ice cream? I need that for work. <laughs> Hi, Corey. Your little doggy would love me. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. I found myself a couple books to read. The one that he won his Pulitzer Prize early on, and then Pleasant Valley about the farm here. So, but look at the butterflies. It's a butterfly bush. Uh, now we're heading over to the farm and the house. Usually they have house tours, but because of COVID, those are not running right now. But we can still check out the house from the outside and the animals. In the barn the original barn burnt down I'm not sure what year I know the original barn he had painted a mural on it because when he built the barn he realized that he blocked off his view of the valley so he painted a mural on the barn and that mural says 2013 so I'm not sure if that's when the barn was rebuilt somewhere around there but it did burn to the ground and this is a new barn Built in 1939 by Lewis Bromfield. It's a National Historical Landmark. Nice view out there.
nap time. Hi there. Aww. You have tails over there. You just want attention. You just want attention. If you're a fan of the movie The Shawshank Redemption, the pew cabin, which sits on Melbourne Farm, is the scene for the opening of the movie where the couple are hooking up in the cabin. <laughs> so if, uh, if you want to see more about the Shawshank uh, Redemption, the trail here in the Mansfield area, check out our video. We did a whole, a whole video on it. Of course you can't go in the cabin because of COVID. <laughs> well, and they also use it for rental too, I guess. The tree that was in the movie where Andy leaves the money, the tin with the money in it for, um, for red is also, it was located right outside of the park it was on private property, but you could view it from um, Malabar Farms property. But the tree was like hit by lightning and damaged, so they finally took it down. But you can see where the film, where it was filmed at. They have a marker out there by the road if you want to check that out too. We're going to check out a few of the trails here. Um, the first one that we're going to look at, hopefully we'll get a couple in. Hopefully. We're going to check out the Butternut Trail. And it's a one uh, one mile moderate hike, and I believe it goes to a cave, or yeah, a cave or cliff area. Yeah. So we're gonna take Zoe with us on this one and check it out. I think we found the cave. I don't know if this is the one on the trail or not. It looks like a cave. Alright, you're going in there, honey. Tell me what's in there. There's daylight coming through. Ooh. I'm going to send Zoe ahead. We've got a little explorer. We're sending Zoe in. Can't see her. <laughs> I can't see nothing. There is light coming from the other side now. <laughs> Zoe, come on. Well, we just finished up our hike. And what do we think of it? I I thought it was okay. The cave is cool, really cool. Yeah. Uh, but you get you know you get on back in there and it's it's. It's just a typical hike. Yeah, typical hike. I mean, it was a nice hike. We got some exercise. Yeah, met some nice people. Yeah. If you go right at the fort, because it's a loop trail, if you go right, it's going to be all uphill the first half. Right. So no matter what, you're going to go uphill, but but um, yeah, just so you know, half Wasn't of it's... <laughs> moderate. Watch out for the rocks. Yeah, moderate is probably good, because yeah. the rocks and the uh, tree uh, roots. Yeah. So moderate is probably a good description. A lot of trip hazards. Yeah, yeah. We did the half that goes, uh, you know, we did the uphill half first. So coming down, it was a breeze. Right, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, definitely the cave area and the, the cliffs and all the rock features are yeah. neat. So. so if you get here, check it out. Yep. The cemetery here that's right on the farm is where Lewis Bromfield is buried. And I believe his wife and his parents, I believe. But we're going to go in and look around. Okay, so this is where Lewis is buried and his wife Mary. And it looks like one of their children is buried here. And then I believe his parents are back there. I'm not sure what the third one is, but I believe his parents and someone else is back there. 
This is one of the houses on the farm. It's called the Berry House. And it used to be a youth hostel. And it's also a copy of the 1919 Sears and Roebuck catalog house. Okay, so they say this house here is haunted. It's the Seely Rose house, and Seely Rose lived here with her family. When she was a young girl, she had a crush on the neighbor, and the neighbor was nice and didn't want to hurt her feelings. So the parents actually, I guess, forbid the relationship. So Seely Rose um, killed her parents and her brother. Um, I think one was poisoned, or I think they poisoned, she poisoned them. But anyways, um, legend goes that it's haunted and uh, you may see a ghost in there sometimes. I also want to mention though, here at Malabar Farm, they typically, on a regular year, a non-COVID year, they have a lot of activities going on, hay rides, house tours, farm tours, um, special activities and things, and it's there's a lot to do here, and you might catch a really cool activity if you come here. But of course, because of COVID, all that's been canceled, but just so you know, for the future, if you want to come here either to camp or just a day trip, I just checked it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Real sweetheart. <laughs> I think we'll get out of here before she comes after us. <laughs> now we're going to go check out Mount G's. Mount G's, Overlook. Overlook. It's supposed to have a really cool view of the valley. Unfortunately, it's clouded up a little bit, but we're going to go check it out. It's a bit of a drive up of a up a, up a hill. hill. Well, we like going up hills. <laughs> we'll see you there. It's Monday. That's right, Monday. <laughs> uh, we had a long holiday weekend here. So we got an extra night out of it, which was great. Yeah. Um, this campground may not be for everybody because of its lack of electric and the campground itself, there's nothing to do right in the campground, but the park is awesome. Right. Yeah, no electrics. It was a little different. It's our we, first time doing it, so. And we did good. We, we did, did good. Fine. Yeah, we got through it. It all worked out. Can't wait to go home. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a great relaxing weekend. Like I said, um, I think I think that's that's a plus for us, you know, yeah. coming to non-electric because it's not as busy. Um, there were 15 sites. I think one night there were maybe nine of us, but last night I think there were maybe four, four or five. Four, I think, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it was very peaceful, <sighs> and um, we got to meet some very nice people, um, Lenny and Tanya. They're right behind us over here. They were the only ones in the campground that spent the night with their horses. Yeah. So we got to, you know, see their horses and meet them. And they had um, quite a few little chihuahuas, which was cool. Yeah. We got to play with the chihuahuas. Yep. And um, they had a friend of theirs that were with them. I think her name was Bree. But um, great people. Got to spend some time chatting yeah, with them. Yeah, they're awesome. <clears throat> and there were some horses in the campground during the day. But then they loaded up and left in the evening. So, yeah. but it, it was, it was, I was, I was happy that, there were a few horses in the kink round, seeing as how it's yeah. an equestrian kink round. Yeah, it's so. cool. So anyways, um, as I mentioned earlier on, um, the latrine, the composting latrine bathroom, super clean, <clears throat> smells good. Really, trust me, it does. It does smell good. <laughs> um, and I'm not right bathroom smell-wise, but yeah, it smells good. Well, it did. It, it wasn't <laughs> gross. I mean, um, uh, what else? The, the state park, beautiful. Yeah, Malabar Farms is gorgeous. Yes. I mean, the rolling hills, It's it was really, really cool. And it was fun to go see the animals and walk around and see the different houses and the hiking. And again, it was just a laid back kind of weekend. Yeah. 
and the park is located in Lucas, Ohio. I double checked. It's Lucas, Ohio. So the south uh, east south, of Mansfield. Yeah, southeast of Mansfield, ways. maybe 20 minutes to a half hour, yeah. approximately. So that's about it for this uh, this trip. We loved it. <clears throat> First non-electric campground in the books. Um, <clears throat> had a great time. <laughs> a hard time talking. I know. Um, yeah, we had a great time. Highly recommend it. Um, like I said, it's not for everyone, but you know, if you want a boondock, yeah, it's a good the, place to come. The sites are a little close together. Um, we found that Google Maps helped a lot. Yeah, it helped us pick our site out. We had already been here, but it also helped us pick our site. So. Yeah. We, we kind of looked for the biggest site and the nicest site, the head shade. So. Yep. Our site is number nine. Good site. Yeah. It's, it's on a hill. A lot of shade. But you get a lot of shade. Yep. All right. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And hit that bell so you don't miss our next one. See you guys again on the road. Feel like I've been losing, losing my head. Used to be alone, but now I'm staying.